Now let's take a look at the ways that we can slice a data frame. So when we slice a data frame, that essentially means we're pulling out certain rows or certain columns and creating a new view that contains only those rows and columns. We saw this um, in the last lesson when we were talking about series. Things are a little more complicated in data frames because data frames are two-dimensional. Uh, you should recall that if, when we are creating the slices, if we want to um, use labels to describe the slices, then we use the dot, we use dot loc. But if we want to use the integer indices of the um, rows or columns, then we use dot i loc, the i stands for in integer. So loc we use for the labels and i loc we use for the numbers. Um, so as I said, it's a little more complicated creating slices of a data frame because unlike series, which just has one index because it's one dimensional, a data frame has two indices, one index for the rows and one index for the columns. So when we specify a position in a data frame, we give it inside the square brackets, we put row, comma, column. If we are only interested in the rows, then we can omit the second index. We can just put square brackets and then however we want to refer to the rows. So we only need one index if we want to slice rows. But if we want to slice columns, then we have to, uh, since the column is the second index, we have to put in something for the first index. And the way that if we want to indicate that this should apply to all rows, then we can simply um, use a colon with nothing in front of or after it, and that will indicate all rows, and then we can put in the range of the columns that we would like to include in our slice. So, and then as I said earlier, keep in mind that um, if we create slices of the data, then typically we're only getting a new view of the data. We're not actually getting a copy of the data. So let's go ahead and try this out. So uh, if I want, if we look at the table that we just read in, we see that it contains data, both uh, the raw numbers of CO2 emissions in terms of million metric tons, but there's also uh, some columns that indicate the fraction of the emissions in each of the three uh, fuel types, coal, petroleum, and natural gas. So if I'm only interested in the fractional column, the last three columns, then I could uh, specify a slice that includes the coal fraction column through the natural gas fraction column. So, um, and that's how I can express this. So remember that since I'm talking about columns, I have to have as my first index a colon and then a comma and then the range of the slice that I want to use for the columns. Remember that slicing with labels includes the last label and that's different than what we saw when we talked about slicing with uh, integers. When we slice with integers, the last number in the, uh, that we specify is actually not included. But in this case, it will include the natural gas fraction column as well. So, Let's go ahead and do this. And notice that I am assigning this to a slice that has a different name than my original data frame. So here we can see that our slice, um, it's still in descending order by the uh, total um, million metric tons. And uh, if you think about it, it's actually necessary that I do this sorting first because I've now eliminated the column that I did the sorting by. Um, <clears throat> so if I want to slice rows, then I only need to specify the first uh, index. And so if I want to include the first uh, four states, then I can use the, um, the, in the slice colon four. Now, just remember that because of the way that Python counts, it starts counting from zero. So that's gonna give me row zero, which is Texas, row one, California, row two, Florida, row three, Pennsylvania, 
and then it doesn't include the last number, so I will not get Louisiana. So specifying colon four will get me the first four states, which are numbered zero through three. So if I go ahead and do this, now I have a, again, assigned this to a new view called COPS top state CO2 fuel, and that is going to consist of this. If I wanted to, um, I could do this all in a single step uh, or in a single statement by stringing together um, the, uh, these two slicing operations. So first I can have it slice the rows, and then after it it slices the rows that will feed right into the next slicing operation, which is to slice the com columns. And then once it's finished that operation, it's going to put it into a new data, uh, new view, data frame view called top state CO2 fuel fraction. So I can see that um, it, it has done both the slicing by rows and also the slicing by com columns.